<sighs> Guys, I get bummed out by a lot of things in life. And I never thought I would say this, but I'm starting to get bummed out by using my Brompton too much. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before you uh, say anything, let me explain. <laughs> The sky so far away tonight But I can't lose this one I got a breath of a falling night Thought that I was fit to fight for us to be You gave me life for loving me Tell me where did we go so Okay, uh, I've had this bike for three weeks, maybe close to four weeks now, and I've rode it pretty much every day since. And there's something I'm starting to get a little bit bummed out about, and I felt the need to have to share this with you guys because, you know, I'm a person that wants to keep his equipment, whether it be bicycles, whether it be cameras, whatever it is, I wanna keep it in as good of condition as possible. And there's one undeniable undisputable fact about riding your bicycle every day all day in all weather conditions and that's wear and tear now don't get me wrong guys the brompton can handle anything you can throw at it it can handle commuting every single day for the rest of your life probably you know you might have to replace brake pads tires some wear and tear components but for the most part it's going to do really really well in that kind of situation but I'm starting to feel a little bit down about my particular Brompton. And one of the reasons why is because when you commute every single day, when you ride every single day, there are going to be scuffs, there are going to be scratches, there are going to be dings. I mean, the road is a very harsh place. You encounter all kinds of elements, rocks, pretty much everything when you commute back and forth from Denver to where I commute. So needless to say, guys, uh, my Brompton, it's starting to get a little bit of wear and tear and I don't like it because it's such a freaking nice bike I want to keep it in as great a condition as possible for as long as possible for the most part I've had bikes that are utilitarian in nature 
you didn't care whether they got scratched up, dinged up. But Brompton is such a freaking beautiful bike, man, that I just feel bummed out when it does get scratches or nicks or, or just scuffs of any kind. So yes, my commute is very difficult and it is very, very rough on my bicycles. All of them, it doesn't matter which one I'm riding, whether it's my mountain bike, whether it's my gravel bike, whether it's my fixed gear, it doesn't matter, it's rough. So what I decided is I'm gonna use this as my good Brompton, the Brompton that I ride around the city, the one I take out on the weekends. And I'm gonna get me a Brompton that, you know, it's still a good bike, but it's got some use on it, some way that's well used. I've went online on Craigslist and offer up to look for used Bromptons and they still want well over a grand for them. And, I don't, and even the older ones, they still want well over a grand for them. So they hold their value really, really well. See, the thing is, guys, that Brompton used to make bicycles that were rather utilitarian. You know, they weren't so much for flash and style. They were more, they had a purpose. They were useful. You know, they were functional. It wasn't so much about what they looked like. It's what they could do, you know. But Brompton has re improved that so great over the years by making the black editions and adding a little style to their bicycles that they're just that good, man. They're so much better than just a utilitarian multi-purpose bicycle. They, they have so many functions, but they also are good to look at too. They're really, really nice looking, especially like the black edition models. There's a couple areas on this bicycle that I've noticed that there are scuffs on it. And um, I don't want the frame to get scuffed. I don't care so much about the fenders because the fenders can be replaced easily. Once they start wearing really bad, you could always replace them. These areas right here where the cable hits the frame, that's where you gotta really worry about. What I ended up doing, if you guys can even see that, is I put a piece of a black duct tape right in the area where it rubs. And you can see where it's starting to rub the duct tape. The area is like right here. I put duct tape right here, some of this black duct tape, because this cable kind of hits against that. It also hits against this fender right here. And you're starting to see a little bit of scuffing right here. I don't know if you can see that through this camera, but yeah, it's definitely scuffing. I'm not so much worried about the fenders. They could be replaced easy if they get all beat up or whatever. But the body I want to keep in pristine condition. I always like keeping my frames in, you know, really, really good condition. I like the fact that this is a matte black finish because shiny frames tend to get surface scratches and scuffs in them. And when the sunlight hits them, you could see every little surface scratch on the bicycle. And I don't like that. That's why I like matte black or matte. Matte any color finish is definitely the way to go, in my opinion. If you do duct tape your bicycle, like put some duct tape around the area where the cable contacts the frame, if you do that, what I would suggest to you is that you get the 3M version. If you get the duct tape brand or duct tape brand, um, what that ends up doing is it's so sticky that when you peel off of the duct tape, you'll end up finding that there's a lot of residue left over, sticky residue, and cleaning that off can damage your frame in and of itself. So you don't want the cure to be worse than uh, the disease, you know what I'm saying? So this particular type is uh, really easy to peel off. In fact, it'll probably peel off itself at some point. I'll just keep applying it. You know, when, the, when it starts getting a little bit worn or it starts to peel off a little bit, I'll put some more on it. And uh, that'll keep the frame in as good a condition as possible for as long as possible. Bromptons have gotten so freaking good, man. They've gotten so good that you almost don't want to ride them because you don't want to mess them up or you don't want them to not look as pretty as they once did, you know? That's the biggest downside so far I've had to owning this bike is I, I want to keep it in its pristine condition, you know? But riding it like I do, as much as I do, I'm starting to notice wear and tear and I don't like that. Um, it's, it's inevitable. On my commuter bike, it's definitely got wear and tear on it, but I'm okay with that. But on the Brompton, especially on this particular Brompton, I wanna keep it nice looking. But like I said, guys, it's it's. I know it's a vanity thing. I know a lot of you are like, it doesn't matter. I understand, believe me, it is a vanity thing with me in a lot of respects because like I said, I take very, very good care of all of my bicycles. 
and I want them to stay as good looking as possible. But then again, I don't want to sit and put them behind plate glass and never use them. Obviously, the biggest part of having a bicycle is to use it what it was for what it was intended to be used for. So regardless, I'm going to ride the bicycles. But like I said, I just want to make sure it stays nice looking for a while, at least a while. So yes, definitely on the hunt for a new bicycle, a new Brompton, something new used maybe, something that I don't really care if uh, it does get scuffed. I might get one. I, I'll take any one. I'll take any Brompton. What I'm going to do is not get the uh, six speed. I want to get one that's just got the internal hub because that's all I use anyway. I only got the six speed specifically for touring in the mountains. And I don't even think I need it because I've, I've hit some pretty good hills and on the three speed, it's been more than good enough. <sighs> so anyway, guys, I'm gonna get online and I'll see what they have in the used department. I seriously doubt I'm gonna have much luck though because most people keep these bikes. <laughs> You don't see too many of them come up online very often. I'm going to have to uh, diligently search and try to find something and hopefully I can and then I'll use that as my main commuter bike. But I know it's gonna be a tough process but I'm gonna to start today trying to locate a used Brompton for commuting purposes only. So anyway, if you guys have any comments, questions, leave them down in the comment and questions section. Slap a like on the video if you like it, and I will talk with you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.